So the title of this talk is uh, General Relativity is Not a Relativity Theory. There are many problems in Einstein's relativity, but now just dealing with this one issue. There are people who think general relativity is a relativity theory and people who think it isn't. So now have a conflict in what people believe. And the problem is, it's now not a properly defined theory when people do that. Going now, we've mentioned some of the people who say general relativity is not a relativity theory. With the side note, special relativity treated as part of general relativity would then also not be a relativity theory. So, going with information from uh, this person who's got a PhD in physics. Um, on his website, he's got this. It tells with Einstein's space time. He's saying things I don't agree with, but let's get to what he says about general relativity. He says relational absolute. In 1918, Einstein described Marx's principle as a philosophical pillar of general relativity, along with the physical principle of equivalence and the mathematical pillar of general covariance. The characterization is now widely regarded as wishful thinking. Einstein was undoubtedly inspired by Marx's uh, relational views, and he hoped that his new theory of gravitation would secure the relativization of inertia by binding space-time so tightly to matter that one could not exist without the other. In fact, however, the equations of general relativity are perfectly consistent with space-time that contain no matter at all. Flat, which is Minkowski space-time, is a trivial example, but empty space-time can also be curved, as demonstrated by William De Sitter in 1916. There are even space-times uh, whose distant uh, reaches rotate endlessly around the sky relative to an observer's local inertial frame, as discovered by Kurt Gödel in 1949. The bare existence of such solutions in Einstein's theory show that it cannot be Machian in the strict sense. Matter and space-time uh, remain logically independent. The term general relativity is thus something of a misnomer. Misnomer meaning it's a false name as pointed out by Hermann Minkowski and others. So there's a lot of people pointing out that coordinate relativity is a mistake. The theory does not make space-time more relative than it was in special relativity. Just the opposite is true. The absolute space and time in Newton are retained. So you've still got absolute space and absolute time. So saying it's all relative space and time, that's false. Uh, and it carries on, they are merely augmented and endowed with a more flexible mathematical skeleton, which is the metric tensor. So what we note from that, general relativity is not a relativity theory. And what he says was the term general relativity is thus something of a misnomer, as pointed out by Herman Minkowski and others. So there's a lot of people pointing out that it's a misnomer. It's not a relativity theory, but it's called relativity. And he continues, the theory does not make space time more relative than it was in special relativity. Just the opposite is true, the absolute space and time of Newton are retained. So it still retains for Newtonian physics absolute space and time. That means keeps absolute reference frame. That destroys uh, what all the people are arguing with about relativity who make claims about space and time not being absolute. There being and there being no uh, absolute uh, reference frame. All those people are wrong. From this guy's point of view, 
those people have got Einstein's relativity wrong. Michael uh, Janssen notes that general relativity was an attempt to make all motion relative, but it failed. And I'm citing the reference for that. And he says, by 1921, Einstein had already conceded, however, gradually, that his general theory of relativity worked out between 1907 and 1918 does not make all motion relative. It, it, so Einstein's admitting his theory is not just about relative motion. You've also got absolute motion. It has widely been recognized that general relativity is a misnomer for the new theory of gravity. That was a crowning achievement of Einstein's career in a paper entitled, Is General Relativity Necessary, Necessary for Einstein's Theory of Gravitation? In one of the many volumes marking the centenary of Einstein's birth, for instance, the prominent relativist Herman Bondi wrote, it is rather late to change the name of Einstein's theory of gravitation, that general relativity is a physically meaningless phrase that only can be viewed as a historical memento of curious philosophical observations. So it's called still called general relativity, but it was a mistake to call it general relativity. And so now just for historical reasons, you're still going with a name that is wrong. And that's one of the big problems of Einstein's relativity. If given that Einstein's relativity is not a relativity theory, then many people who claim to believe Einstein's relativity have got the theory wrong because they're believing there's no absolute motion and that it's false, there is. Conclusion, relativity is messed up. It's been called relativity when it's not relativity, so the whole thing is messed up. So thank you, that's the end of this short talk.